can happen during a live TV report, and that was proved once again during a report here on Local 10 this week. Yeah, notice the man in red. This was so unusual. It made late night last night on Jimmy Kimmel. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Marajon was live on assignment Monday in Little Havana when something, well, unexpected happened. Here's the clip. You know, uh, we're always on the lookout for strange little moments that pop up during the local news. And we happened upon something very unusual this afternoon, courtesy of our ABC affiliate, Miami. Normally, you see people jumping up and down, yelling Baba Booey behind reporters. But rarely do you see something like this on tonight's edition of Behind the News. Well, Janine, right behind me here at the historic Tower Theater, a forum has been going on since early this morning. Community leaders of all kinds coming together. <laughs> yes, Leanne. Uh, Leanne, he had a hot date, huh? <laughs> he did, and I've heard it's pretty much his daily date. I'm here back in the scene of the crime, so to speak, back in Little Havana, right next to Domino Park. Domino Park right behind me and what I'm told from the regulars around here is that he comes almost every day. In fact, I've come here the whole day pretty much trying to find him. I guess today may have been a sick day, but he comes every day. He comes with the doll and he actually dances salsa up oh, and down the street and does so the for tips. So thickens. when the tourists come and when the visitors come in those big buses, they come and they see him and they give him a dollar or two. So oh, he has a good time. There's music playing over at Ball and Chain. So he's got quite the soundtrack and that's what he does. But today, unfortunately, it seems maybe he's taking a break. Uh, well, and here people must have had all kinds of weird thoughts. He just dances with it all. That's a great thing. <laughs> you know, we, we like to say only in Florida, but Leanne, is this an only in Miami moment considering that you're from here? It, it is, and it's also a perfectly innocent explanation for why he's walking around with a doll like that. It's perfectly dressed, they're wearing coordinated outfits, and it's actually really endearing. In fact, right before I went live that day, I saw him further down the street, but I had no idea that he was behind me at the moment that he was, but it was sure serendipitous, that's oh for sure. My God. And you're having fun on social media with it, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, lots of tweets, lots of texts this morning. I actually went to bed early last night, so I had no idea, but uh, I definitely found out later today. Uh, I have seen your Facebook page. Uh, you're up to, like, 500 likes for that. I don't know if they like you or so much the guy with the blow-up doll, but both of you are great.